located just above the shoulder blades, that's muscle, which it develops through digging, digging for food. But the highest point is its butt where it's where it swoops down and collects its head. And the feature features, the black bear has a long nose, long protruding snout, similar to a canine, a dog. Claw size is the final indicator. If you're looking to a set of binoculars, black bear claws typically one to two inches in length. Grizzly bear claws four to six inches. Much larger for the grizzly. The bears you will find out here, they're much smaller than the coastal bears, the bears to the west, the northwest of here. Those bears have the privilege of feeding on salmon. They get much larger. Coastal brown bear can weigh 1,200 pounds. Large grizzly in this area, 600 pounds, almost half the size for these inland uh, Rocky Mountain bears. One of the main food sources for those animals is the berry, the berries. And it's almost berry season here. It's gonna be a bumper crop this season. If you go for a hike, you'll find bushes just hanging with various berries, Saskatoons, huckleberries, thimbleberries, raspberries, currants, they're all growing out here. We've had a good season for them. Lots of warm weather, lots of evening rain showers. Bears can eat up to 100,000 berries in a day, a single day. That's, um, that's about 20,000 calories. For the equivalent to one of us going out to a burger joint, let's say McDonald's, eating about 40 of those Big Macs in a single day. So. You notice we're slowing down out here. Your uh, first mate, Jaden, he's become our captain. He's told me we've run out of fuel. So we're going to have to paddle. No. Just slowing down for the border here, actually. So look off the left-hand side first. You're going to start to see a cut line in the forest there, a swath in the trees, running right from lake level up that mountain, Mount Boswell. And in just another moment on the right hand side, we're going to get a much closer view of that cut line on the west shore. You're going to see two markers here. They're called obelisks. There's a stone one out front and a bronze one set just back behind it. When those line up one in front of the other, you have a surveyor's perspective of the 49th parallel border between Canada and the United States of America.